What is it that you are thirsting for and why? Have you ever thought about how our bodies are controlled by our hunger and our thirst and why that is? I feel it's God's way of reminding us that we are indeed finite, that we are dependent on something for life and living. And I think it's because he wants us to realize how dependent we are on him. And I hope that this lesson in the Woman at the Well Bible study makes you eager to run to God every day to seek him for your satisfaction. What is a well? It's a structure dug out of the ground, right? And it holds water, it provides water. It holds still, stagnant, passive water. And there's nothing wrong with this type of water. But well water, it serves its purpose. However, it's very vulnerable. It's greatly affected by the materials in its surroundings. It's affected by the heat of the sun and the cool of the shadows. Well water is vulnerable to attack. In the old days, if someone poisoned the well water, an entire village could be killed. As we looked in our last lesson, this particular well that Jesus leans against is the well of Jacob. And this land that he stands on is directly connected to him. It is very precious, significant land that's meaningful to the Jewish people and to the Samaritans. And that's the setting of our story, the well of Jacob in the land of Sychar. Who was the Samaritan woman? She was thirsty, wasn't she? We read that in John chapter four. We can so relate to her. Can you? I know I can. I've thought about that all my life. I've had this longing in my life. What about you? A longing to matter? A longing of significance? A longing to be recognized? As the youngest of four children, of course, I wanted to be recognized. A longing to be heard and validated? I think the woman at the well was brought to this amazing well of Jacob for a divine purpose, to meet and be transformed by her savior, Jesus. And wells in scripture often were used to bring brides to their bridegrooms and vice versa. And here we see that the Samaritan woman who had been married many times was about to meet her bridegroom, our bridegroom, at the well of Jacob, the well of promise, a plot of land that was dedicated to the Lord. There are no accidents in scripture. And this story is proof that God was watching this woman and he wanted to change her and use her for his glory. What about you? We know that God had something more in store for the Samaritan woman and he does for your life as well. Are you coming to the well to draw that earthly, temporary, stagnant water? Or are you ready to be filled to overflowing with the living water that Jesus has for you? Back to that well. Jesus leans against it, weary from his journey. He could have just called for the water to rise up so that he could drink from it. But instead, he decides to sit and wait patiently for this daughter of Samaria to arrive. Is Jesus waiting for you? He has a plan to transform your life with his living water. Trust me, he will show up in your life in such a way that you can't possibly imagine the great things he's going to do through you. He brought you to this lesson for a reason. Trust him with your thirst. Trust him with that longing that you have inside. Trust him with everything.